Well, it was very toxic. Um, right off the bat when I got there, about maybe a month into it, I felt hopeless and like they didn't believe me because I was an inmate and nothing I said mattered. It, they were officers, so whatever they said, there it was their word against my word against theirs and theirs was gonna win no matter what he was really initially mean to everybody else and really nice to me he started making me feel comfortable with him started making me feel like i could talk to him well uh it didn't take long for him to actually say that he loved me that he was in love with me i used to do a lot of work around the prison uh and i it was one day that i was in the shoe working on the floors and that's where he pretty much let me know that he was uh, looking into my files and he knew that I had four children. He knew what city I was from. He knew all about me. And I was just like, whoa, he's on some stalker stuff or he's he really likes me. I, I didn't know which which one to think at that point, what to believe. All the time, he threatened me all the time. He would tell me that he was gonna kill me, that he was gonna kill me and kill himself. He told me that all the time. And I was afraid because obviously he knew where I grew up, he knew where I lived, he knew where my family lived. He had all these details about me that thanks to them having access to my PSI and my mental health. So one day he called me into his office and he pointed at his computer screen and he's like, why didn't you tell me you, you had this? And I said, I remember earlier when we first started talking, he had told me that he knew there were certain things with my going on with my mental health and I told him I was like okay so fast forward to when he calls me in the office he actually points at the screen and he's like why didn't you tell me you had this I have this and I told him I said you told you showed you told me you looked at my my mental health before like so I assumed you would remember that and he said no uh, I didn't remember that he's like but yeah you're right I have looked at it before so I said, okay, um, and I said, what is this? Why, why do you have access to this? So um, yes, when I'm talking about my mental health, uh, he knew that I was bipolar. And when he called me into his office, he pointed out the PTSD that I do have. So uh, that's when he said, you know, I have PTD, PTSD as well. Why didn't you mention it before? And I was like, well, you, you had access to my files. You told me that you knew what was going on with me so that's basically yeah the reason why I feel that he used it against me is because first of all he told me he had looked at that and second of all uh, he knew uh, he knew my triggers he knew what would trigger me I feel like it need, it's something that needs to be talked about because it it's just reoccurring and it's like, what if that girl would have been successful in her attempt? And what if that could have been me? That could have been me if I didn't have the people that I did, the support that I did around me. And, and that's why like, um, I know she had the same or similar uh, issues like I did. And that's why I say that I feel like he used it against us. I feel like he literally would pick the ones he felt were, the ones he felt were weak. And that's why I'm, I'm here talking about it today because I don't feel that it's okay for them to have access to all these things and use them against us. They're using them essentially as, as a weapon to target us. I was scared. Um, I may seem strong now, but I wasn't always.